Why you flexing, man? Where your I, shirt at? Oh, you got to have a shirt on to be on here? No. <laughs> no, leave it off. Leave it off. <laughs> it's, it's satellite radio, so you can uh, you can you don't have to wear a shirt. Hey, you don't wear Am a I shirt the only to the ring. So... Done that? <laughs> yes, you're the just, only one who's let's ever back done that. up a little bit. My bad, Bubba. My bad, Bubba. I can, I can tell you, my bad, dog. <laughs> we only see your eye. On, we see your nose to your chin. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <He flexed laughs> <on his head. laughs> this is gonna make for good video. Yeah. On YouTube, but... All right, okay, oh, okay. Shit. Let's keep it PG. Let's keep it PG. <laughs> Truth, how <laughs> you doing this morning? Man, I'm doing good, dog. We here in Little Rock, Arkansas. There's so much snow around, man. Truth, were you with us like ten? 12 years ago when we had the ice storm in Little Rock and we drank all the liquor in the hotel? Is that what we got stuck here? Yes. Yes. I cried. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you cry? <laughs> what? I think I was just ready to go home. I got uh, over it real quick. I just had to like, oh, man, we got stuck over here and stuff that the damn. I think Kyoto got, you know, like, man, straighten up, dog. What you crying for? You a grown man. And I stopped crying. <laughs> Truth, man, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I called you last week, and I said, hey, man, do you realize that you're doing something that nobody ever did in wrestling? And you said, what, what's that, dog? And I said, you have more success in your last five years, ten years, than you did at the beginning of your career and it came out of the blue. Yes. I told you that uh, the story that uh, I, I got told the guys on the radio station. I was there the first night that you did the, oh, my bad. <laughs> you were in Austria. <laughs> yeah. and, you, and you said, Australia, what's up? And they booed the shit out of you, remember? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you came back, you was like, the referee leaned in, hey, uh, we're we're in we're in Austria. And you said, Oh, <laughs> oh, and you went into this whole drawn out thing. And why why did it take so long to get to this? I don't know, man. I think it took this long because everybody had to realize who they were dealing with. And that it was real. That I didn't know the difference between Austria and Australia. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was legit. So once people start realizing, oh, dude, it's for real, for real. I think that started opening the gates up to a lot more love. Truth, yeah, man. I, truth, I got to ask you this. Like the other day, we had Dolph on, and Dolph's been around for a long time. You know, much like you have, and you know. Dolph, a lot of time, he was, you know, sitting on the bench and not doing a lot with him. And also during your career, too, there, there's there been times where we won't see you for a long time. And then they, you know, they pepper you in a little bit here and there when then we don't see you for a long time. How how have you been able to to withstand your about 20 years you've been now with the company, maybe a, bit, a little bit less? How, how, what keeps you motivated to go to work every single week, even if they're not doing anything with you? Discipline. It's discipline, man. Uh, coming into our, our business is like no other business in the world. And y'all know that, you know what I'm saying? And once we get programmed, and I've been programmed since I got into business, that programming, it just, it, it, it dwells within you. And we know patience. Is a virtue. We know um, one minute you can be up, next minute you can be down. We all know the things, the insides, the things that make the clock move on the inside, we all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's just me just being disciplined to myself because a lot of times the motivation ain't there because you're on the sideline, because you're not being used, because you're not this or that. But the discipline keeps you ready, man. And the discipline, um, it keeps everybody else on notice, on check. And I think it's just a matter of discipline meetings meeting chance, meeting opportunity. What's interesting to me with you is the fact that you don't need a championship around your waist. You don't need to be in the main event of Monday Night Raw. Like every time you get that opportunity, you knock it out of the park and you hit a grand slam. 
Like, so you take those opportunities and you make the best of this opportunity. Like what's going on right now? Like, Hey, we're, we're getting the, close to the rumble. We're close to WrestleMania season. And you're the number one merch seller on WWE shop.com. Like I, how does that happen? The creativity that you have and how talented you are can make the smallest thing into something so big. Do you feel the same way? I feel the same way, man. I think it's just a matter of, of time. Uh, I think everybody and everyone, everything has its, its time. Time is all we got on this earth. So um, it's just making the best of the time that we got. Uh, I was out for like a year and some change, right? So uh, me coming back from being gone for so long, that time, I think it just, it sped up and, and caught up with itself. And me being disciplined. When I was injured, when I was out with my uh, quad, torn quad, I was working out. I didn't stop working out at all. I, um, I continually did it, man. Um, I tried to keep my mental straight. I tried to keep my emotions intact. Uh, mental health is good, for real. I tried to keep everything intact, man, and um, faith and believing, man. And, and when you step out on faith and belief and you become that, nothing else can stand in your way. Nothing can. Truth, you, you became the MVP during COVID of the 24-7 championship. And I think that some of that spilled over into now because yes. none of that stuff would have been good without you. I mean, you, I mean, it was everything like to not spit my drink out. Whenever I saw you come on screen, I just stopped drinking because I knew that I was going to waste some good drink. And <laughs> like, tell us how all that happened because like at, for a long period of time, you was not involved in it. You know, they had right. Titus O'Neil, they would have, you know, uh, uh, I think you came in when Dana Brooks started doing it. Uh, they right? gave me a call. Uh, no, no, actually before Dana, um, Bobby Roode had it. I think Bobby That's got it right. And um, they called me and said, hey, they want you to go to SmackDown. No, they want you to go. I was on SmackDown, as a matter of fact. They want you to go to Raw and do a, a backstage promo. Didn't tell me what it was. When I got to Raw, I saw Mick pull that thing out of the bag like that, right? And everybody said that thing was ugly, though. Everybody thought that it was ugly, ugly. Like, nobody even liked it. It like, was an ugly it. little green and gold title. It was ugly. It had a different look. We're going to say that. You made it beautiful, <laughs> but it was ugly. <laughs> It just looked a bit different. Um, so man, I think um, just with the antics of when the first night I wanted, it just went up, man. It was just crazy. Um, me being rude for it, and you know me, Mark Bubba, you know me too, man. I like I like laughing. I like being funny, and y'all give me an opportunity to make things funny. It that was just my playground at that moment, and um, all the things myself, the writers who was coming up with was just like we just hitting home runs. Um, Johnny as well, man. The tarmac thing was Johnny idea. We were in the plane, man, thirty thousand feet in the air. All that stuff that was Johnny idea. Like there was no rules when it came to the twenty four seven title, man. We, if it was rules, we broke them all. And I think people were just loving that. Truth. How much fun are you having right now? Oh, bro, I'm having the ball, man. You ain't got no shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you hey, I know them Roddy. We, we, them we Roddy know. checks is fine too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, let me borrow a million, man. Let me a <laughs> no, but you know, you hear people, you know, who are in entertainment or who or are successful at comedy. Yeah, on the outside they're funny, but sometimes on the inside they're not so happy. You look like you're having a blast out there. I mean, are you having as much? fun doing this on TV backstage in the ring as it seems you are yes I am Bubba man and it's um you have to you have to display that man uh if you're not having fun I think people can tell I'm I'm, I'm genuinely having fun man. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be back I couldn't wait to get back y'all know I just be at home for a long time man like even my wife and kids asked me don't you have a job don't you have to go back to work like I was ready man you know what I'm I, was, I was ready to get back to work man, and just start grinding man and that that's part of it man just the fun is just half of the work the rest of the work is making everybody else have fun and enjoy seeing you have fun to where they having fun and it works you because you have the judgment day which is like a badass faction in the WWE and here's our truth and 
on paper it doesn't seem like it would work and it's and it works and it clicks and a lot of that has to to do with you like just you make everything that you do work and did you, when when you knew that you were going to be working with the judgment day what was your first thought about that uh, i was happy man i was i was ready to get out the house i was ready to come back to the sport that i love man it was like um when they said you work with Jeff, I was like, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm ready. Like, you know what I'm saying? What are we doing? They could have told me I was working with anybody, man, and I was ready. But True. I will say this. The Judgment Day, they all fought for me. I have to say that. True. Yes. What, what, do you wait, realize... wait, wait. Hold on, Mark. Hold on one second. Excuse me. Was there, a, was there a discussion or a fight to be had for you to be part of the group? No, just the first promo, man. Um, I will say Damian Priest was like the one, like, bro, we should – we should keep you around, man. Like, this thing's kind of, like, working. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he actually went to, I think he went to Hunter and the Riders. He, Damian Priest kind of, like, fought for it. Nice. Wow, that's awesome. Truth, uh, you, you do realize that technically you're, you're not a member. No, I am a member. Day. Bro, I beat JD. Y'all didn't see that? <laughs> we saw it. We saw Did it. Did JD or not? Yes or no? Yep. Yes. Yep. Question that. So, so that was it. Was like a gang. You had to like jump in. You no, know, they beat me up the week before. Sorry, that's true too. They beat they beat me down. I don't know why people say beat me up when it's actually you get to beat them. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and and this was de- words of wisdom. <laughs> and this was destined. Yeah, and this was destined to happen because, <laughs> as we learned. Right out of the womb. Like, as soon as you were born, you turned to the doctor and said that I'm going to be a member of the Judgment Day. You said that right out of, yes. the, right out of the gate. So this was That's all was destined born. to happen. Yep. So I, was a little, I was a wee, wee little baby when I said that, David. And the word stuck, dog. You know what I'm saying? You have to, yep. like, say what you want to do ahead of time. And if you be persistent Ooh. with it, things will happen. As you see, my dream came true. I'm, I'm happy oh, for you. I'm happy Truth, you know what I'm Truth. Let me ask you this, David. Yep. If moths love light so much, why don't they come out in the daytime? <laughs> <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. Things that, you know, it's, it's kind of like. I'll think like, about that on my flight. That's all. I was just wanted to see. My no, no it's, 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 it's kind of like driving on a parkway and parking in a driveway. It doesn't make any sense. Why are you parking uh-huh. in a driveway and driving on a parkway? You see what David just did, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> you think you rub it oh, off on him already. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I can't, man. I'm not Truth, doing that. <laughs> number one merchandise seller. Now, that was a, that was a shock. That was a shock to me. And I don't get shocked that easy in this business. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a shock to me. And I Over used to John love, Cena. Man. Huh? You used to talk about how John Cena was everything, and now you're selling more merch than him. That's my childhood hero, man. I got that power pellet from him. I used to watch him, dog, every Saturday morning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why y'all laughing? No, no, no. It's 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 good to see it's good to see dreams come true. Uh, huh? It's great. Oh, no, man. it's great to see dreams come true. true. Yes, that's what, mine came true. Yes. I mean, I'm not the leader. Everybody, I'm not the leader. But we all. I mean, I don't think we really need a leader. Everybody, their own. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Person. But um, we're a good group, though. We're we sticking together. What about mommy? Mammy, mammy is good. No, is is mommy the leader? I thought that mommy was the leader. She runs things. It's the difference in being the leader of the group than running things. Mommy runs things. Okay. Runs things. She runs Truth, things. Truth, yes. I gotta ask you a personal question. It's been bothering me for a long time, so I gotta get this off my chest. I'm married, Bubba. <laughs> 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 Dude, I got it. I got to ask you on live radio. I'm a live radio in 2015 at the Royal Rumble. Why did you forget to say weather? <laughs> oh. oh man! Oh, man. Do 
Oh, you remember that dog? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Tremendous. Wow, I did. That was a, that was pretty much the only the highlight of the whole deal, right? <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> one job. Hey, if y'all could have saw Bubba's face when we got to the back, <laughs> look what happened, Truth. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say was what's up? What was that? What? Was that? I said, Bubba, I'm sorry. Well, 15 years later, 20 years later, <laughs> oh. he been holding on to it. Oh. Oh, he has been holding on to yeah. that. <laughs> oh. tr- I think truth Devon is- texts me too. <laughs> well, you and Devon have always had some kind of, you know, you know, friendship relationship. I don't know what between going on with you and Devon. Yeah, but he texts me. Why didn't you say what's up? Why didn't you say? Why, why? Like, dude, that was- <laughs> 2015, bro. Like, you, know what I'm <laughs> you know, oh my god, truth. I know it's on the shirt that's the number one merch seller right now, but the live, laugh, love it almost feels like that's kind of like your motto when it comes to life and it comes to your career is, is live, laugh, love, right? Yes, man. And Rob C came up with that, man. Um, and when he's when he when I read it, I'm like, Are you serious? He's like, Yeah, I think if you put your twist on and say it this way, it'd be like, I'm like. Uh, I kind of like that motto. And it's it's actually a legit motto that people can live by, right? Yep. Yep. And it, it's kind of working. I like that. I think I'm going to live by that motto myself. Good. That's good. It's good being that it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> Truth, you've been doing this yes. a long you've been you've been doing this a long time now. What's the hardest part of the job still? The hardest part um Convincing travel. people. Well, no, travel. I'm ready to travel. I've been at home for a long time. I'm ready. I was driving in the snow like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. I think the hardest part has been this man is um believing that patience is a virtue and being your own cheerleader. Sometimes people uh lose their faith, they lose their the thing that brought them to the biggest task. Because they're on the sideline, because they're on the bench, because they're not being you. And I try to motivate people and tell people, man, nah, everything comes around, it turns around. You just got to like stay in it. You're here for a reason. Stay in it. Stay, you know what I'm saying? I think that's the hardest part, man. Keeping that mental engaged with what you're doing and where you're Jake, at. How's that locker room right now compared to since day one that you get there? Would you say the locker room is that it's best, it's most fun, it's most laid back? Yes, it's very fun. Very funny. Uh, the energy there is, is on high. Um, everybody's smiling and laughing, man. It's 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 a good locker room. I like it. Cool. And also the way business is for the WWE right now. I mean, you can make the case that this is the the biggest time for the company ever is right now as we enter 2024. Yes, man. Everything is all cylinders are moving and pumping hard. You know what I'm saying? And I'm grateful and thankful to be a part of it, man. Like I said, I've been Ready for him to let me out of the cage, man. I'm out of the cage. I'm just running wild. And I and yeah, I'm you're sure you're gonna be off a... the chain. <laughs> Everybody running and jumping and diving over on top of cars. Yes, I'm doing it all. And and listen, this is an exciting time. Like we got Monday Night Raw tonight, which I'm sure is gonna be is gonna be great as it always is. We're getting closer and closer. We're just days away from the Royal Rumble, which kickstart the road to WrestleMania 40, where we're going to see Cody beat Roman for the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. So there's a lot. uh, uh, Yes. Yes, I do. I believe this is Cody's time. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this jacket. Cody is going to fit Cody is going to finish the story at WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia and beat Roman Reigns for the undisputed oh, wow. WWE Universal Championship. <laughs> Look at I know who you on. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the background, True. Look at the pictures in the this back. Shit, this shit needs I'm to stop, now. True. Yeah. Now this this needs to stop. It's like now. some Jim Carrey shit. It's like <laughs> <laughs> It's like the pet detective. Ooh. Yeah, like, it makes sense wow. now. Now listen, it makes sense, David. I get it. Listen, but, but but our truth, I'm the voice of the people, and this is what the people right. want, and and this is they want Cody in the main event at WrestleMania 40 against Roman Reigns. Uh, but our truth, I get. Thank you. 
And I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Rumble. I'm looking forward to seeing you in Philadelphia at WrestleMania 40. So thank you for all that you do for this business. And thank you for taking the time to talk to us this morning. Uh, thank you all, man, for having me on. Thank you, David. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Great to see you, brother. We love you. Uh, great to see y'all. Love y'all too, man. Hey, man, it's cold outside. Put a shirt on. Bro, I got no shirt on. Oh, no, man. Bro! Whoa, whoa. No shirt. No <laughs> hey, pants. Hey, <laughs> Time. Can we get a 20-second timeout? Shit. Oh, no, shit. That, that was... Per, oh, oh, best God. way to end the hour, end the interview. Our truth congratulations on everything, and thank you so much for the time this morning. All right, thank y'all, oh, man. man.